Good morning, Will Rogers. This is Mrs. Noriega, your principal. Today is January 19th, 2021, and we will be having a PBIS assembly. I hope that you had a wonderful three-day weekend and that you were able to celebrate and honor Martin Luther King Jr. Our PBIS talk today is going to revolve around emotions. And so over the next couple months, we'll talk about something called RULER. And RULER stands for R, recognize emotions, U, understand emotions, L, label those emotions, E is for express emotions, and then most importantly, R, to regulate um, those emotions. Today, we're just gonna uh, really focus on emotions and those thoughts that come along with emotions. It's important to pay our attention to ourselves every single day as we wake up. And we need to learn to recognize when you're feeling an emotion. And it's really a great idea to begin to ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? I want you to grab something to write on and something to write with. I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds to write down as many emotions as you can think of. And some examples would be joy, envy, anger. Um, so go ahead and grab something and we'll pause the video and then I'm going to give you 10 seconds to go ahead and write as many emotions as you can think of. Okay, so now that you've written uh, those, as many emotions as you could think of, and hopefully you were able to share with your class at least some of them and give some examples, uh, either in the chat or if you had a class discussion. If you haven't done that, please pause the video and do that just to see how many of you are, are thinking around the same thing, okay? And after you finish that, I'd like to share a, a short video with you, and it's titled, You Are Not Your Thoughts. You are not your thoughts. Every day, we have thousands of thoughts, emotions, urges, memories, and feelings. From the time we wake up in the morning, all throughout the day, to when we lay down to sleep at night. No matter who we are, we all have thoughts swirling around in our heads. We even think and feel in our dreams. Often, we don't realize how many thoughts we are having and we get lost in them. Sometimes we're not even aware that we're thinking. We seem to be swimming in a sea of our own thoughts. When we are surrounded by our thoughts, it's easy to get caught up in them and react automatically. Sometimes in ways we don't even need to react. We might hold on to some thoughts, even when we don't want to. And it can feel like our thoughts are overwhelming. But thoughts are not facts, and they are not always true, even if they seem to be. Next time you feel caught up in your thoughts, try paying attention to them with curiosity and not judgment. It doesn't matter if they are true or false, right or wrong, just notice them. How fast or slow are they? Are they all very different from each other? Or perhaps you're having the same ones over and over again. Maybe they're even focused on one theme. Some of these thoughts may be unwanted. But instead of reacting to them, notice what happens to your body sensations and your emotions when you have these thoughts. Perhaps you will notice if they are bringing you closer to or further away from what is important to you or the goals you have for yourself. Observing your thoughts is a skill that takes practice, like playing an instrument. Sometimes it'll be easy for you to be able to notice and respond to your thoughts. Other times you might have to work really hard to get some distance from them. You might even have to keep letting go of the same unwanted thought over and over again. But don't give up. Keep trying. Like waves in the ocean, Thoughts are always passing through our minds. 
and can affect how we feel and what we do. But they are not us, and we are not our thoughts. Learning to be aware of our thoughts can allow us to respond with more choice instead of reacting in ways we may regret. Observing our thoughts gives us some distance to see how our thoughts make us feel. We can then choose to act in ways that bring us closer to the things and the people that are important to us. Remember, you are not your thoughts. Try observing your thoughts with curiosity. Try it right now. I really hope that you found that short video to be useful. Some of the things that I found to be the most useful was when it talked about recognizing what is important to you and also recognizing and asking yourself what your goals are. And it's, it's a really good idea to write them down so that you know what you're working towards. Remember that you are not your thoughts. And so all those things that may be bothering you, maybe feeling a little scared, um, overwhelmed with the unknown of when we're going back to school, uh, the unknown of maybe what you hear on the news or anything that is going on at home, all those thoughts that you think of, you are not those things. And recognizing emotions is important. I sometimes wake up angry. And on my way to work, if there's traffic, I'm upset. And if someone cuts me off, oh my goodness, right? I'm, I'm even more angry. And by the time I get into my office and the phone is ringing, I'm already upset and I haven't even answered the phone. But the fact that I'm angry that day does that, doesn't mean that I'm an angry person. Uh, doesn't mean that I'm a bad person. So I am not my thoughts. And when I can learn to recognize that in the morning I'm not having a good day, and maybe be able to cope or talk myself into hoping to have a better day and not to let you know someone get to me just because they cut me off on the freeway is important to me because it's going to make me happier. And so I hope that you begin to think about that, but recognize that you are not your thoughts. Think of, of letting go of unwanted thoughts, the things that are not important to you if you're having thoughts of things that are not important, then you, you need to let them go. And that's a lot easier said than done. But the most important thing is don't give up. And if you need someone to talk to, reach out to your teachers. You can email. You can email me. Um, and we can get you some help and someone that you can talk to. It doesn't need to be something that we tell everybody in class. It could just be as easy as an, an email. Okay. I hope you're able to have a conversation um, and debrief that video that you saw, and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Thank you, Cowboys.